hello students in this practical video we are going to learn about the uh, normal and abnormal secondary growth in plants right so in this video lecture we will learn about the normal and abnormal what is the differences in between them so that we are going to learn right so first we will see this secondary growth so what is meant by secondary growth the secondary growth is defined as the increase in the diameter okay or the girth or width of a plant initiated by the cell division in the lateral meristem so this lateral meristem is present in the, at the lateral side inside the stem okay so there are uh, the primary and the sec secondary growth which happens simultaneously but uh, um, in the different parts of a woody plants like the uh, woody angiosperms right so as well as the um, in the gymnosperm also so the secondary growth it uh, adds width to the older areas of the stem and the root that are no longer growing in the length right so typically the stems they have much more secondary growth than the roots uh, so this making the stem and the roots thicker than um, rather than longer which involves the quite different process right so secondary growth in plants are produced by the lateral meristem because of the activity of lateral meristem so instead of the secondary growth the secondary growth is uh, radial which increasing the diameter of stem or roots as dividing the cell which produces the lateral or the sideways growth so in the lateral meristem the new cells are added initially towards the central and towards the surface of the stem or the roots right so that's why the secondary growth is arise in the region of a woody plants where the primary growth has ceased ceased means stop right so this usually occurs uh, during the first or this second year of the growth of the plants right so perennial plants they show such kind of activity secondary growth so the process uh, will start with the differentiated cells revert to become the undifferentiated cells which will forming the two lateral meristem that is the vascular cambium and cork cambium so cambium cells are the cells that have exchanged their previous roles for a new role of dividing the repeatedly to produce new growth right so the vascular cambium it produce the vascular tissue like secondary xylem and secondary phloem right so this vascular cambium divide continuously to add the secondary xylem and secondary phloem so the vascular cambium itself forms from cells in the cortex as well as in the procambium also okay so in the roots the pericycle cells are also involved like the cork cambium that is also called as the phylogen layer so which forms initially from the parenchyma cells in the cortex and sometimes in the primary mm, phloem so cork cambium it produce new dermal tissue which eventually replaces the epidermis formed by the protoderm right so the vascular cambium in a three dimensional view the vascular bundles of a plants forms a cylindrical shape right so the secondary growth in the dicot and some kind of conifer stem like the uh, gymnospermic conifer so the begins when the vascular cambium cells arise from the residual procambium cells between the primary xylem and phloem so this vascular cambium cells they exist um, cells that becomes the meristematic and different times under the influence of hormone auxin which controls the uh, activity of this cambium until the eventually they form the complete cylinder right so this cylinder runs through the middle of each vascular bundles so in the roots the arrangement of the primary xylem and phloem uh, prevents the vascular cambium from the initially forming in a circular configuration so within a year or so on the different rates of cell division in the vascular cambium results in the formation of cylinders right so secondary xylem and secondary phloem so you know the um, secondary xylem it's expand the plant capacity to carry the water right so as the plant is going uh, increasing by its size right so they need more water so that's why there should be necessity of secondary xylem as as well as when the mass of the plant size of the plant will increase 
so plant will perform more photosynthesis and it will transfer more food towards the other tissue so that's why there is a necessity of phloem also right so in this way the secondary xylem is what we commonly call wood so this secondary xylem consists largely of the dead cells right so you know these cells are dead xylem tissues so only more recently formed the layers of the secondary xylem conduct the water and the minerals and similarly only the more recently formed layer of <coughs> excuse me living uh, secondary phloem they will conduct the food the old phloem cells they no longer conduct because they are stretched and broken right and when the new cells will produce so they will push out towards the outer side like the older xylem cells they no longer conduct because an increase in number of vessels they have also get uh, broken column of the water and increase the number of tracheids which contains the air cavities right then we will see the cork cambium the cambium which will be there in the cork so the secondary growth maintain the two basic functions of vascular tissues like the conduction and support so there are basically two types of dermal tissue in the vascular plant epidermis and periodermis so the epidermis and the cortex they form during primary growth and they are replaced by the periderm in the plants after the formation of secondary growth so the periderm, periderm is the production of cork cambium means cork cambium will produce the periderm so it consists of cork phloem and cork cambium cells so the cork that is the phloem uh, it forms to the outer side of the cork cambium which consists of dead cells when it will going to mature and the phloem is it's a thin layer of living parenchyma cell that forms the inside of each of the many cork cambia so unlike uh, the vascular cambium the cork cambium does not grow in the diameter so every year or sometimes less frequently in new cork cambium it forms the inside the old one which creating another layer of the periderm inside the old periderm so in this time the first cork cambium arises from the parenchyma cells in the outermost layer of the cortex okay so as like that each new cork cambium arises from the tissue so as the diameter of the stem expands okay due to the action of this cork cambium the uh, cortex also get expand so since no cell division occurs in the cortex the expansion eventually cause the cortex to break apart and fall off from the stem in the form of bark right so subsequent the cork cambia then arise from the secondary phloem to the inner side so bark what is the bark it's a part of the stem or the roots which surrounding the wood which having the dead cells right so this bark has two distinct region inner bark and outer bark so inner bark it consist of living uh, secondary phloem and dead phloem and the outer bark is consist of dead secondary phloem and the layer of periderm okay so here you can see we have to take the transfer section of anona stem to study the normal secondary growth and you can see here the um, uh, transfer section of anona reticulata okay that is in marathi you will called as a um, sita fall right so this anona uh, stem you, you have to take the transfer section after that we will get the idea about the secondary growth so there is a um, cork cells cholecamata cells cortex vascular bundles and the pith which is present at the inner side after the secondary growth um, the secondary xylem and secondary phloem will going to act so secondary uh, xylem it will be added at you can see here at the inner side and phloem at the outer side right so in this way the secondary growth will be takes place in the um, anona anona plants right so in this way the mass as well as the uh, size okay volume of the um, plant will going to increase right and after that in the secondary xylem will Uh, secondary flow uh, secondary growth will be takes place in such kind of plants then we will see the abnormal secondary growth right so we have to 
or take the transfer section of bignonia so bignonia is one of the uh, dicot plant right in this in this plant the secondary growth is abnormal which is also called as anomal anomalous secondary growth right so this you have to study the anomalous secondary growth in the bignonia plant what is the abnormality what is the abnormality or uh, anomality in that stem so that we are going to learn in this video first we will start with the definition so generally a solid core of the secondary stem is formed which surrounded by the small amount of secondary fern but in some cases the formation of cambium is out of the normal position so such type of secondary growth is known as anomalous or abnormal secondary growth okay so what is the abnormality in this secondary growth of bignonia so that we will see so bignonia it's a uh, uh, tendril uh, climbers which consist of the strands of secondary phloem wedge between the plates of secondary xylem right so initially the secondary growth is normal and xylem produce in the greater proportion than the phloem but later the cambium produce more of the secondary phloem and small amount of xylem at the four points at a right angle to each other so in this photograph you can see these four bundles of the secondary phloems they have added here okay so this is the abnormality so in this patch there should be a presence of xylem instead of phloem but there uh, this patch will get broken down and continuously phloem get added and due to this addition of this phloem you can see here there will be development of four strands which are arranged right angle to the each other where you can see the sclerotic bands also as well as the secondary phloem and secondary xylem so inside the patch of the secondary xylem the secondary phloem will added right so this is the abnormality in this uh, bignonia plant you can see here the transfer section of this bignonia okay where you can find the patches right patches of this secondary phloem so there is a lenticels okay cuticle is there epidermis cork phalogen phaloderm then secondary phloem which will be added at the portion of the secondary xylem okay then vascular rays pith so after taking the transfer section your transfer section will looking like this okay and you will find this four uh, ridges so as a result four longitudinal furrows or the ridges of the phloem in the form of a cross wedge in the quadrant of secondary phloem are developed so when the thickness is increased the furrows will becomes deeper how it means when the size will increase this furrow is also going to be become deeper and deeper so the cambium which is in the form of a ring is broken in the eight strips out of the eight four of them are normal in position outside the quadrants of the secondary xylem and other four strips uh, are at the bottom of the furrows formed by the secondary phloem so the soft phloem tissues they begin crushed by the pressure of the secondary xylem and there are bars of this lerenchyma which appears parallel to the surface of stem right so in this um, plant you will see such kind of four furrows so this is the abnormality right so in this practical we have taken the transfer section of anona to study the normal secondary growth and we have taken the um, transfer section of bignonia to study the abnormal secondary growth right and you know what is the abnormality in them there will be a formation of four furrows and this furrows have contain the phloem instead of xylem okay thank you